Hey class, all right, so today going over a new project where we're talking about taking some paintings and some clay and mix them, those two together. Hey class, Mr. G here going over today's topic. Today's thing that we're gonna be working on is adding, uh, doing a painting on clay. Now, I've taken uh, some of my clay and made some tiles out of it. Uh, simple bisque ware. Uh, bisque is that first fire. Now, what we've done is I've rolled out a slab of clay, put some holes in the top so you can lace this with some strings, some yarn, some twine, whatever you guys want to use to hang it up. Basically, it all, all I did was roll out the slab of clay, smoothed it out so they don't have the, um, usually you have like a canvas sheet that you have to smash the clay through. And then, Chose a couple images that I liked, such as Groot, Captain Marvel, it's a personal favorite just because it was such a good movie. Logan, grabbed some paper, did a couple quick sketches so I had something to work, work with as a reference, and then started to illustrate those on the tile. Now for me, what I'm doing with the tile is, first you want to sketch it out, and you just use a regular pencil. Uh, you can trace these on with carbon paper if you have that. Uh, but you're, what you're doing is you just want to get your design laid out on here so that you have a guide, something that, so as you're painting, you have something to color in, uh, you know what's going where. Over here we have our design laid out. You're gonna add the chemicals to it. For me, I like using raw umber. It's um, what I use to make brown slip with. Uh, and it's knowing gradients and how to change and elevate those gradients as you guys are working. So in the tutorial that you guys are gonna see, check out how I'm adding those gradients to the finished product so that way we can walk away with a really cool piece. Captain Marvel. And my wonderful piece, Logan. Um, now, for your pieces, now if you wanna finish them off, I am gonna finish these off because I've got a little bit of a shine issue when I'm looking at this in the light. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this piece, I'm gonna to top it with some clear glaze to go over the top of it, so just to finish it off. So everything will be relatively shiny, but it's gonna be, um, but it's gonna make sure that everything is sat, is uh, finished off perfectly. Reason that I'm also doing the clear coat is because it gives me a second layer of durability where as you're painting that raw umber onto these pieces, um, raw umber is, burns at much higher uh, temperature than the low fire, which is this is uh, was low fire clay, so I fired it uh, cone 06, which is going to 1,945 degrees, but it's not high enough to actually it penetrate uh, all that raw umber into the clay. Now I, I cut my uh, raw umber with a with a um, a low fire glaze to help mediate some of the help uh, mitigate some of those issues. Uh, however, want to put a clear coat on here just just as backup, just to make sure that everything is solid and finish on there um, to finish off those pieces. So.
So as always, I hope that you guys learned something today, got some, some cool ideas. I look forward to seeing your comments down below. If you can, if you have a question, toss it down in the comments below. As always, I will see you guys next class. Until then, later guys. Peace.